Imagine two years from now, you're not just a beginner anymore. You're robotics force of nature. You're the person who has mastered robotics, who is programming robotic arms to do what seemed impossible, who is creating mobile robots to navigate new environments, who's reading research papers and successfully replicating the results. You're robotic savage. You're a builder who doesn't settle for good enough, but who goes all the way to greatness. You're creating robots that move with precision, that think with intelligence, that operate in ways others can only dream about. Imagine the satisfaction, the pride, the sheer power of knowing you built that. Now let me share with you something personal. Before I became a roboticist, I was the chief financial officer of Brazil's first technology startup accelerator. We transformed startups into multi-million dollar companies by following this one simple principle. Remove steps from what people are already doing. That's it. That is the secret to making money in technology that every future robotics millionaire and billionaire must understand. You see, the companies that make a fortune in technology, they make life easier. They look at what people are already doing and they remove all the annoying steps. That's it. In the words of billionaire Evan Williams, don't make me think, don't make me wait. You see, solving old problems in new ways is the path to making a fortune. Look around you at the most successful technology giants. Google saw people struggling with confusing web directories and said, just type what you want in this box and boom, instant answers. Uber looked at people standing in long lines to catch a taxi and said, just press a button. No more waiting, no more uncertainty. Airbnb saw people complaining about expensive hotels and said, book someone's home instead. A few clicks to unique spaces worldwide. Amazon watched people fighting for parking at malls and said, shop from your sofa. Everything you need delivered to your door. But here's what's coming next. While those companies made the digital world easier by removing steps, robotics will do the same thing to the physical world. Every manual task, every dangerous job, every repetitive action, robotics will make simpler and faster. You're going to be the one who makes this happen. You're going to be the one who will wake up at four before the world is awake. By 5 a.m., you're in the zone. You're grinding. You're not wasting a single second of time. While your friends are scrolling through social media and watching cat videos, you're scrolling through research papers. You're in the trenches, coding, testing, building. While others are just starting work, you've already spent three hours working on your craft. You're in simulations, tweaking algorithms, reading the latest research, testing sensors, learning computer vision, mastering inverse kinematics, programming robotic arms, and mobile robots. You're putting in the work that 99% of people won't. That's what it takes to reach the top. Your first robot won't change the world. Your 100th one will. Now you might lose friends due to your robotics obsession. That is okay. Their weekends are for parties. Your weekends are for prototypes. Your family might call your interest in robotics an obsession. You call it dedication. History will call it innovation. Ignore the noise. They'll call you crazy now. They'll call you a visionary later. 10 years from today, there will be two types of people in this world, those who mastered robotics and those who wish they had. While they debate if artificial intelligence will take their jobs, you're building the robots that will create new ones. And pain will be your teacher on this journey. Motors burning out? Good. Figure out why and build it stronger. Code failing over and over? Perfect. Debug it until it's flawless. That robot that just failed, it's not your enemy. It's your ticket to greatness. They see a broken motor, you see a learning opportunity. Hardware breaks, software crashes, but a roboticist mindset, unbreakable. Code till they call you crazy. Build till they call you brilliant. They'll tell you robotics is too hard. They'll tell you you need a PhD. 
They'll tell you you need a degree from a fancy university. They'll tell you you need to master all sorts of fancy mathematics before you begin. You don't need all this to change the world. You need a soldering iron and stubborn persistence. Just build. Build your first robot, then another, then another. Start small. Build a robot that can follow a line. Then build one that can avoid obstacles using a cheap ultrasonic sensor. Whatever you build, build it and keep building and never stop building. Your hands will tremble from all those hours of building and typing. Your eyes will burn from debugging, but your robots will move like poetry. Your competition is in other engineers. It's your own self-doubt. You don't need easier problems or better tools. What you need is discipline. Every broken part, every failed test is exactly what you need to become a robotics beast. Each setback is shaping you, hardening you, preparing you to build machines that can stand up to real world challenges. This path isn't for everyone. Robotics doesn't care if you get frustrated, tired, or distracted. It demands your full focus. But if you give it that, the reward is like nothing else. You see, competence gets compensated. Every day, you add new robotic skills is another day of compound interest in your knowledge bank. The sense of accomplishment you'll feel when you watch your robot navigate obstacles, complete a complex task, or execute a move you program from scratch, that's happiness most people will never experience. You're not just sitting around hoping for a quick win, nor are you just building something that exists in the virtual world. You're building something that is real and tangible, something that will make an impact that your children and your children's children will remember. They'll hear stories of the hours you spent refining code, tweaking designs, blowing up electronics and troubleshooting circuits late into the night. They'll understand that the machines they see in their everyday lives, the technology that powers the world, didn't just appear by magic, it was built by people like you, people who chose the hard path, who dared to solve the problems others shied away from. Think about it. What if, for the next two years, you dedicated yourself to this path. You pushed yourself harder. You committed to building and learning relentlessly. You decided on a particular area of robotics you wanted to specialize in and then read every impactful paper you could get your hands on, replicated the findings, learned from every mistake, and spent nights on simulations until you understood every detail. Imagine the skills you gained, knowing ROS2 inside and out programming vision systems, building robots that operate flawlessly in both simulation and the real world. And every single day as you grow, that feeling of accomplishment will build. Robotics isn't just about learning a few skills, it's about reshaping the future, solving real problems, automating the dull, dirty, dangerous, and delicate tasks so humans can focus on what truly matters, spending time with family, nurturing friendships, and cherishing loved ones. It's about building a world where technology works alongside us, freeing us to pursue our passions, creativity, and connection. This field is your chance to leave a legacy. Look around you, dishwashers, washing machines, printers. Yesterday's impossible robot is tomorrow's boring technology. Imagine building robots that can handle household chores, make hazardous environments safer, that assist in complex surgeries to save lives, that explore worlds humans can't yet reach. Robotics is the field that shapes what's possible and you're on the path to leading it. No shortcuts, no easy way around it. You need to show up every day. You need to demand perfection from yourself, to learn from every failure, to be relentless. You're a savage. You see, robotics doesn't reward the lazy or the half committed. It's a field for those who will put in the hours, who will push through the setbacks, who will wake up and go hard every single day, even when it's difficult. So ask yourself, are you ready to put in that work to make robotics a non-negotiable part of your life? Because when you do, the rewards will be worth every sacrifice and every hard fought battle with your code. And one day, when you see the machines you build, when you and others around you realize you've accomplished something extraordinary.
You'll feel a kind of happiness and pride that only comes from knowing you've become unstoppable. So make the choice now, commit. The best time to start robotics was 10 years ago. The second best time, not tomorrow, not later. Now, set that alarm for 5 a.m. While they sleep, you build. While they wait, you create. While they doubt, you dominate. Eliminate all distractions. Own every second and start building the future you want to lead. The world of robotics is waiting for leaders who aren't afraid of the hard work, who aren't afraid to dedicate themselves to something bigger, who want to automate the world's dull, dirty, dangerous, and delicate tasks. The future is yours to claim. Are you ready to make it a reality? Keep building. Automatic Addison.